Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a fun little video. So what are we doing today? Well, we are animating color and transparency. So basically we can animate an object changing color and we can animate an object being visible or not, right? So let's do both. We'll take uh, two cubes, so one and two. And let's move that over, right? And we're gonna focus on this guy first. We're gonna right click, go to assigning material. Let's give that a color, let's say red, for example, right? And this one, I don't know, we'll do, um, actually let's do a blend on this one. And then we'll go in here and turn that to blue. There you go, all right. Now, in order for us to animate this, we need an animation range. So we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna set that frame range to 100, okay? Now let's start by animating the color first on the red one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this guy, we're gonna jump to frame one, right? We're gonna right click on this, we're gonna go to material attributes, which will open up this panel. Now on the word color, so not the color itself, on the word color, we're gonna right click and go to set key, okay? So that's in frame one. Then I'm gonna scrub all the way to, let's say 50, all right? And that's where we're gonna change the color. So I'm gonna go in here and change it to, let's say bright blue, all right? And again, right click on the color and set key. So now what should happen is the color should start off as red, slowly transition into light blue, and then slowly transition back to red, okay? Let's see if that's the case, here we go. Have it one run, there you go. It's going from red to blue, and then jumps to red again, okay? So that's how you can do that. You can add more colors in between if you like. So I could, for example, go to 75 and I could change the color again. Let's go to yellow, for example, and go in here, right click and set key. If I hit play once again, it's gonna be red, blue, yellow, black to red, right? Okay, so that's how you can animate color. Now just take a second to think what you could use that for. Let's say you model the car, it's on a rotating platform, and you want the car to change color while it's rotating. That's what you could do, right? Now second up is transparency, that's this guy. All right, so on this guy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that we have a material, and we do, that's our blend material. I'm gonna right click, go to material attributes once again. Make sure I'm on frame one. I'm gonna go up here once again, and instead of color, I'm gonna to go to transparency. And I'm gonna right click there and set key. And then I'm gonna drag it all the way to frame 100. And I'm gonna move that transparency all the way up and then right click and set key again. So now you should see that uh, cube becoming completely transparent. Let's see if that's the case, here we go. Now you can see the wireframe there because I had it selected, but now I have it deselected. You see that in fact, it completely disappears. So yeah, a couple of neat little tricks that can uh, be of use in your uh, modeling workflow. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, right? So if you did hit that sub button, uh, leave a comment if you like. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.